Hey there, DIY enthusiast and electronics hobbyist. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to build a classic snake game using Arduino. So let's get started. Here are the components we will be using for this project. Arduino Uno. This is the brain of our project. LED matrix to display the game graphics. Joystick to control the snake's movement. Potentiometer to adjust the game speed. Breadboard to connect all the components together. And some jumper wires. Now let's connect all the components together. At first, we'll connect the ground and 5 volt to the breadboard to provide power and a common ground to all the components that will be connected to the breadboard. We'll start by connecting the LED matrix to the Arduino Uno. Connect LED matrix VCC pin to Arduino's 5 volt pin. Connect the LED matrix ground pin to the Arduino's ground pin. Connect the LED matrix DIN pins to the Arduino digital pin 12. Connect the LED matrix CS pin to the Arduino's digital pin 11. Connect the LED matrix CLK pin to the Arduino's digital pin 10. Next, we'll connect the joystick to the Arduino. Connect the joystick ground pin to the Arduino's ground pin. Connect the joystick's VCC pin to the Arduino's 5V pin. Then connect the joystick X axis pin to the Arduino's analog pin A2. And finally connect the joystick's Y axis pin to Arduino's analog pin A3. Finally, we will connect the potentiometer to the Arduino Uno. Connect the potentiometer VCC pin to the Arduino's 5 volt pin. Connect the potentiometer output pin to the Arduino's analog pin A5. Connect the potentiometer's ground pin to the Arduino's ground pin. Now that we have connected all the components together, let's write the code to make the game work. We will be using the Arduino IDE to write and upload the code to the Arduino Uno. Search on Google Arduino IDE and download and install according to your computer operating system. Open a new file for coding. First we need download and install the LED control library. This library will allow us to control the LED matrix. Open the link I shared in the description and downloaded the zip. Now come back to the sketch. Click include library then add zip library. Select and open the library we downloaded from the link. Finally, we will write the code to make the game work. This includes reading the joystick and potentiometer values, updating the game state and displaying the game graphics on the LED matrix. I'll share the code in the description. Select the board and port and upload the code. And that's it. Our snake game is now complete. As you can see, the game is displayed on the LED matrix. And we can control the snake moving using the joystick. We can also adjust the game speed using the potentiometer. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new. If you have any questions or comments, 
please leave them in the comment section. Thanks again and I will see you in the next video.